back to my channel and welcome if you are new here. You are in store for another What I Eat in a Day to lose weight on the WW Green Plan. I am currently following the Green Plan, but all of the points for the other plans will also be listed on my Facebook group. So if you haven't joined, head on over and join us there. We do include the points for all of the plans in the recipe. So that's where you're going to find that information. So we're gonna have a little bit of fun today. We're gonna do a little bit of dogs. We're gonna show some products. You're gonna see everything that I eat today and we have an absolutely delicious recipe tonight for dinner. So if you wanna see what I eat in a day on the WW Green Plan to lose weight, you just need to stay tuned. breakfast for this morning it is about nine o'clock and I'm just getting hungry so I'm gonna eat some breakfast so I'm making myself a breakfast sandwich the bread that I'm using is the Trader Joe's sprouted wheat sourdough bread I love this bread it's thick it's hearty there's seven grams of protein per slice and it is two smart points per slice so I have two slices of that I have one smart point worth of avocado with some everything but the bagel seasoning. And then I cooked up one whole egg for two points and one egg white for zero. Topped it with some of the Trader Joe's organic shredded mozzarella cheese. It is one ounce for two smart points. So I went ahead and topped it with half of an ounce for one smart point. And then I have some fruit. This is left over from Costco my little Costco haul, it's so delicious. So my breakfast is four for the bread, one for the avocado makes five, two for the egg makes seven, and one for the cheese makes eight. So this is an eight smart point breakfast, and then of course I'm having some water. So eight smart points for this delicious filling breakfast. Hi guys, I'm just working away in my office today, and I wanted to share with you a product that I received from a company called Sojo's. They are blue light blocking glasses. Now they are not prescription glasses. They do not help with vision or correct vision. They are made strictly to, designed to prevent blue light blocking when you're working on a computer for a long period of time. And being a YouTuber and a realtor, I am on the computer a lot. They are fantastic. I don't notice any different with, difference with my vision and what I can see, but they are designed to block all of those harmful blue lights that you get when you're looking at a computer for a long time. So I've been kind of wearing them when I've been working. So I'm here today just to kind of show you what the glasses look like, how they come packaged, what is included when you purchase the glasses, and they are extremely, extremely inexpensive. And the company kindly offered me a discount for you guys as well, so I'll share that with you at the very end. So let's take a quick peek at these glasses. So when you go into sojosvision.com, the blue light blocking glasses range anywhere from $16.99 to about $45.99. It just kind of depends on what you're looking for. But these glasses reduce the symptoms of eye strain during prolonged computer exposure. They're really pretty frames. They have some fun styles, cat eye, round, square. You can also replace the frames with non-prescriptive lenses uh, at any store if you're interested in just having the frames be a kind of glass that you could wear every day. They're made of high quality materials, comfortable wearing. They do have a nose piece and a nice comfort fit for your ears. Classic fashion design. The retro cat eyeglasses are my favorite. Those are the ones that I, that I received. And then there's also service after the sale if you have any questions on your glasses.
is or if you're interested in buying another pair down the road. So highly recommend, in my opinion, this is the least expensive ones that you can purchase. And again, they have dozens and dozens of different kinds and they do range from $16.99 to about $45. You can really just pick any type of frame that you like. They also have the clip-on ones. If you're someone who wears glasses already, they do have a clip-on version that goes right over the top of your glasses. So great way to save your eyesight if you're someone that works for a prolonged period of time on a computer. For my morning snack, I'm gonna have a Bilt Bar. It is about almost 11 or so, so I'm gonna have a little bit later lunch today since I had a little later breakfast, but I'm going to have a peanut butter Bilt Bar just to tide me over until lunch. One of my very, very, very favorite flavors of the Bilt Bar is the peanut butter. It is so good. The chocolate coating is nice and thick. It's full of little chunks of peanuts and made with organic peanut butter. It is so delicious my favorite way to eat it is out of the refrigerator i think it just kind of enhances the peanut butter flavor a bit but here are your nutritional stats so you have 170 calories 20 grams of protein so it definitely keeps you full in my opinion this is the bar that keeps you the fullest the longest and i think it's because of a combination of the 20 grams of protein seven grams of fiber three sugar and seven grams of fat. And it is really, truly delicious. It is a cross between a Reese's and a Butterfinger. So good. So because the calories are a bit higher, it is four smart points instead of three smart points. All of the other built Bars are three points on every plan, but the peanut butter is four again on every plan. I'm fine giving up an extra point for peanut butter. So this is going to be my morning snack. If you're interested in the built Bars, I do have a code for 10% off. Also gives you free shipping. It is here on the screen. And there is a link in the description box. If you click the link, it'll automatically apply all those discounts and bring you right to the Built Bar website. But I love the peanut butter so much. So this is going to be my four smart point snack. Are you gonna eat your bone, bud? You better eat it before your sister comes in here and takes it. Get your bone, buddy. Lulu, Lu, how are you? Yeah, you've got your bone. Don't go take your brothers when you're done. Lola, baby. Yeah, she doesn't care. Her life is consumed by her bone. So here's what I'm gonna have for lunch today. So I have my meal prep that I made in meal prep. So I have one serving of the Brussels sprouts with some spray butter, salt and pepper for zero. And then I have one serving of my meatball parm bake. You guys, this is so incredibly delicious. And that is six smart points. And then for dessert, I'm gonna have three smart points worth of the mini peppermint meringues. So I'll be doing that with my meatball parm and my veggies. So this is going to be a nine smart point lunch. If you want the recipe for my meatball parm, check out my meal prep that was posted on Monday. You guys, this is so incredibly delicious. You could pair this with potatoes if you wanted. It is really absolutely delicious. So this again is my nine smart point lunch. So it's about two o'clock and I'm needing a bit of an afternoon pick me up. And my Bones coffee order came yesterday. Now Bones coffee, I've seen it all over the internet, Instagram, YouTube. I couldn't wait to try it. So I decided to go ahead and place an order. So this is not sponsored. I actually ordered and paid for all of this by myself, but I've heard it's delicious. I wanted to try just some different coffees when I'm wanting a nice flavorful cup of coffee. So what I did is I ended up buying their sample packs. So I bought their holiday sample pack and I also bought their, just one of their other sample packs that you can pick your own coffee. And if this is a good size bag, it's a four ounce bag and you get five bags for $29 on their website. So that's not bad, it's about $5 a bag and I felt like for the quality of the coffee and supposedly how delicious it is, that wasn't a bad deal. So I do have a link in my description box that will give you $5 off of your order. Um, it's not an affiliate link. It's just a link that will give you $5 off. So let me show you what I grabbed. So from the holiday bundle, I have the white chocolate peppermint bark. This sounds amazing. You guys know I love peppermint anything, like literally anything. So there's that. And then also out of the holiday section, this is the O Fudge. So this is a chocolate fudgy coffee, which also sounds amazing. And then this one, I'm actually really excited about. I may actually have this one today. This is the Eggnog 
how fun and then also the jingle bones and this is a coconut caramel vanilla that sounds so good so good and then lastly for christmas or out of the holiday pack i got the gingerbread man so i love anything gingerbread so that sounds really good as well. So these five bags are the holiday pack. And then these are the five flavors I picked out myself. So I grabbed one of the coconut rum. So I love coconut, anything. And I think that little sweetness and tang of the rum sounds really good in coffee. And then I also grabbed Wonder Bones. And now I don't even remember what's in this one, to be completely honest with you. Oh, I think it's salted pretzel. That's what I think that it is. So that sounded really good. And then also the white Russian. So this is going to be like a Kahlua cream and uh, yum. And then I also grabbed the strawberry cheesecake because I heard that this is really good. Although it sounds bizarre for coffee, I heard that it's delicious. So I grabbed that. And then the last one in my five pack that I created myself is the Highland Grog. And again, you guys, I'm sorry. I don't remember what's in this one at all. Um, and it doesn't say on there. So you'll just have to go on their website and look. But what's great is you get $5 off of your order. So that makes them only about $4 a bag. So I'm going to go ahead and brew myself up a cup of coffee and I'll let you guys know what I think. the eggnog from bones is a win it's really really good i just added a little bit of fat free half and half oh it's really good i'm really glad that i've ordered some of their coffee so again down in my description box is a link just click the link it'll automatically give you five dollars off your first order go try out some of these fun flavors and have it delivered to your doorstep which is always nice with my coffee for my afternoon snack, I'm gonna have one of my Siggy's yogurts. This is the blueberry, make sure you get the 0% milk fat, and it's only three points. And this yogurt is so good, the ingredients are awesome. I love it, it's my new very favorite yogurt. And I'm actually going to top it with two smart points worth of the granola that I made in meal prep a couple of weeks ago. It is so good on yogurt, so good. I even just eat it as a snack. So I'm gonna make sure that I weigh out two points worth. So two points of my homemade granola with my Siggy's yogurt is going to be a five smart point snack. For tonight's dinner, I'm gonna be making cashew chicken with rice. I'm very excited about this. It sounds delicious. I have some cashews I need to use. So let's dig into what's in our cashew chicken. You're going to need salt, soy sauce or coconut aminos, garlic, the recipe calls for chicken broth. I'm just gonna use vegetable broth because this is what I have on hand. I'm gonna use it for the recipe and to cook my rice in. Pro tip, cook your rice in broth. Makes it taste a lot better. You'll also need some rice wine vinegar, cornstarch, sesame oil. I'm gonna use this ginger versus fresh ginger, water chestnuts, of course, some chicken. My cashews are raw unsalted cashews and these are from the company nutstop that i featured a while ago in one of my videos i do have a link to nutstop down below where you get a discount they have amazing products and they are really really inexpensive so i have some just raw cashews my rice is going to be this long grain brown rice that i picked up at natural grocers i just want to go ahead and use it up and then lastly you're going to need some green onions and a green pepper so let's get started on our cashew chicken so the first thing we're gonna do is get our chicken started. I went ahead and chopped up all of my chicken into small cubes. I did put a little bit of nonstick cooking spray here in my pan. So I'm gonna go ahead and add in my chicken. And all we're going to do is season it with just the tiniest bit of salt. And we're gonna let this cook down. While our chicken's starting to cook, we're gonna go ahead and make the sauce for our recipe. So I have one half of a cup of light soy sauce. To that, I'm going to add about half of a teaspoon of sesame oil. I also have rice wine vinegar, and I have about a tablespoon of that. And then I have a tablespoon of my Lakanto brown sugar alternative. And we're gonna give this a stir, and this is going to be the sauce that is going to go on our chicken. So let's let that chicken cook a little bit more, and we're gonna add a little bit more seasoning. So our chicken is cooking, it is just about done still a little bit pink so we're going to give it a few more minutes i also started my rice so i have one cup of brown rice in about 
just shy of two cups of water and we're just gonna let that cook while we make the rest of our dinner because brown rice definitely takes longer to cook. When your chicken is cooked through, we're gonna go ahead and add in some minced garlic. We're also going to add in our ginger. And then once this has a chance to cook down a little bit more, we're gonna go ahead and add in those green peppers. Just added in my chopped green pepper and we're just gonna let this cook for a few more minutes until the chicken starts to brown. And if it starts sticking to the bottom of the pan, even better because we can scoop up all those brown bits on the bottom of the pan. But we wanna make sure that our peppers are cooked completely through, our garlic and ginger is getting nice and fragrant and our chicken is browned. Our chicken is getting nice and brown. We've got those little brown bits on the bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and add in about a quarter cup of my veggie broth. Again, if you're using chicken broth, you would add that. And then we are just going to give this a stir and kind of scrape up all those brown bits on the bottom. And then once we get that done, we're gonna add in the sauce that we made. All right, next up is the sauce that we made with the soy sauce and the brown sugar, yum. And we're gonna give that another stir. We're gonna let it cook for about two minutes just to kind of let that chicken and the green peppers start to absorb that sauce a little bit. And then we're actually gonna make a slurry with some cornstarch and water to thicken up the sauce before we add in our cashews and water chestnuts. I just added in that slurry, a little bit of cornstarch, two tablespoons with about a quarter of a cup of water. And we're just gonna stir. We still have this heat going. We're gonna stir until this sauce starts to thicken. And then the last step is, is to add in the cashews and the water chestnuts. And my rice is coming along nicely over here as well. Look at how delicious this looks. The sauce is nice and thick. So I'm gonna go ahead and add in my can of water chestnuts. And then we're also adding in one cup of raw. Make sure you get the unsalted raw cashews. And again, give this a stir and we're gonna let this cook for just a couple more minutes. We just wanna make sure that those water chestnuts get warmed through and we want the cashews to still hold their crunchiness. So we don't wanna cook it for too long. And then we are ready to eat. And I'll plate up my dinner and I'll be back to show you our completed cashew chicken and give you the smart points. So here is the completed dinner. So the cashew chicken makes eight servings. Each serving is four smart points. And then I went ahead and made up some brown rice and you can have a quarter, or I'm sorry, a half of a cup of brown rice for four points. I topped it with just a little bit of green onions and some sesame seeds. So this is going to be eight smart points total and it looks and smells delicious. All right, so here's my dessert for tonight. This is the apple crisp from WW Pound Dropper that I made in my meal prep and it makes six servings. This is one sixth. So it is quite a large serving for the points. I just topped it with some fat free ready whip for zero additional smart points and a little bit of cinnamon. So on the green plan, it is only three points for this apple crisp and it is so good. It's nice and thick like apple pie. So this is going to be my dessert and my last meal for today. Thank you for joining me on another What I Eat in a Day to lose weight on the WW Green Plan. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me today. Make sure if you haven't already to hop on over and join my Facebook group. We're just over 11,000 members and everybody is amazing. So much support. Questions are answered. We share tons of great recipes, ideas. It's just really a super fun group to be in. And that's also where you can find the points for the blue and purple plan as well. Also, if you're new, I'd love to welcome you to my channel. Join my YouTube friends and family by hitting that little subscribe button and that bell so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. I thumbs up this one if you love what I eat in a days. And of course, leave those comments down below and let me know what you thought of this what I eat in a day. What was your favorite part? That's what I'd like to know. Thank you guys so much for watching. You are seeing this on Christmas Day. So from the bottom of my heart and from my family to yours, the very, very merriest of Christmases for you and your family. I love you guys and I'll see you after Christmas. Bye.